Hello, Captain. Hello. Nice I'm, to meet you. I'm Sergi from Spain. Ah. I'm a Spanish YouTuber. And uh, I would like to know uh, a lot of things about the DEF-35 okay. in this version. Yeah, so this is You are the... a pilot, you are in, in the demo team? Yeah, so um, I'm one of the, uh, the demo pilots. I'll be the safety observer. So we're uh, the demo team is stationed out of uh, Hill Air Force Base, which is in Salt Lake City, Utah, in the States. Mm -hmm. uh, this plane, as you can tell from the tail, says LN. It's a Lake and Heath jet. So this is stationed in England. England. And so we flew out commercially out here. And then they, uh, other pilots, the other units, brought the F-35s down from uh, Lake and Heath for it. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll use their jets to do the demonstration today for mm -hmm. This one's just a stack display, so this jet will not fly today. It's just here for people to take pictures okay. and things like that. And then our other, we have other tails that will do the actual demonstration. Um, our demonstration uh, as the F-35, again, it's the fifth generation aircraft for it. As you can tell that you'll see today, it has a lot of power. Um, is quite the quickly. most powerful. Yeah, yeah that's quite a bit, bit, bit out there for the Air Force. Yeah. Um, it's specially designed. It's a pretty. Uh, it's very loud. It has a uh, thing I recommend is listen to it. It has a different kind of t uh, sound to it than other yeah. engines do Absolutely. compared to like the Rafale and things like that, or the F twenty two engine. So when it's like far away, you can hear it has a distinct noise. If you if you know plane engines pretty well, you be like. You know, like big engine, jet engines, like commercial airliners, but then fighter aircraft, some are just much louder, just vibrate more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this one, just the way it sounds, you can be like, oh, that's an F-35, that's getting close it's to incredible. it. It's yeah. incredible. I have the opportunity to, to see uh, flying oh, okay. uh, okay. in Dubai okay. four years ago, approximately, and uh, more, more like the sound is for uh, absence of sound. Yeah, the absence. So yeah, it's very quiet. It's, it's, it's incredible to, to go uh, to... Uh, to the clouds, absolutely in silence, are, for me are uh, amazing. Yeah, it's amazing, absolutely. The way it dissipates again when they created the jet, the way it's able to dissipate energy and sound and things like that is very interesting. So, and that's just how they uh, designed it. Uh, currently, many countries uh, fly the F-35. Again, uh, the U.S. Air Force we have have the most F-35s in the inventories. We fly the A model version out of the three different models that the U.S. carries: the A, B, and C models. Uh, the Marines carry the B models, which is a vertical takeoff yeah. uh, jet, and then the C model, which is kind of more of the carrier version. Um, this one behind us is just the A model. So uh, the A model is uh, just kind of what we always do in the Air Force. Uh, each model just has a little thing more just distinct and different compared to what that uh, that service branch requires. Like the, Na the Marines wanted a vertical takeoff. The Navy, because theirs is on an aircraft carrier, they have a hook, and their gear yeah. is meant for the kind of uh, stress. It's, it's bigger, like uh, another version, the, the C version. Yeah, the, so the C model yeah. actually has bigger wings, so if you look at it, the wings actually extend, yeah. and the wings actually will fold in too, so uh, they'll extend out and fold in for it to uh, help them fit on the carrier for it. Um, not that, but, uh, <laughs> you fly in this, in this version? Uh, yeah, so I fly the A model, so A I'll model. go home um, when I go back to Salt Lake City and we'll go back to flying the A. Which model uh, fly uh, after the, the take the command of the F-35? Uh, we will always fly the A models. So that's, yes. uh, there is actually, a, there is a Navy demo team also. Yeah. And they fly, actually there's a Marine demo team also. Oh, okay. Uh, but which which model, uh, another, uh, um, after this uh, plane? Not F-36, for example. Oh, the sixth generation aircraft. Uh, yeah, there's a sixth generation aircraft or the NJAD program. Um, I don't know much about that program. No, 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 no. Uh, sorry for my English. Oh, that's okay. Uh, is um, the, the last plane you fly to, to oh. arrive to here? It's F, it's like like this, or? So most pilots, the cool thing about the Air Force is most pilots go through a different kind of career progression. So when I graduated pilot training, I uh, stayed and became an instructor pilot at pilot training. So I flew the T-6, which uh -huh. is a prop plane trainer. Texan? Texan? Yep, Texan too. So I flew that okay. for six years until I switched over uh, two years ago to the F-35 program. It's a big... Yeah, a big, big jump from how, oh. especially airspeed wise. Wow. So, um, and with the prop going to, you know, everything fly by wire compared to the T-6, which is mechanically uh, yeah, 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 mechanical yeah. aircraft. But it's been a fun transition. The plane is very easy to fly um, for it. Um, it has so much information. We call it like the information overload because it gives you so much data for you to kind of process as a pilot. But it's very fun, very easy to fly. Uh, for it, um, and it does a lot of cool things. So. I just speak uh, about uh, five or uh, five or six uh, pilots of F-35, and all the people are, are the same. No, the, the, it's very easy to fly, and uh, very easy to to not that the the, the dogfight because noise noise a plane about the, this 
kind of uh, combat, no? It's, it's more like a very uh, far distance, no? Yeah, so this, this plane, again, with its stealth technology... Like for, a Raptor, for example, no? Yeah, so the plane wasn't meant, you know, it's multi-role, so we're, again, we're able to do pretty much any type of... Uh, anything that's asked of us for it, and that was the purpose of this jet, to really replace the F-16s, to create where kind of an F-35, which is any mission that we have, we can take on for it. Yeah. So it's able to blend every single one of those missions, like kind of like dogfighting, you know, close air support, kind of like what the A-10 does. Yeah. So that's why there's a gun on the left-hand side mm -hmm. uh, for it. So any of those missions, um, it was, is integrated into the jet for it, which is cool because, you know, one day you may be training to you know, to do dog fighting, and the next day you may be training to do how to like stray for it. So we were always, every day is like a new training mission uh, for us to do. So we have to stay proficient in every single one of those categories of training compared to some other aircraft where they mainly train for one area, yeah. like air to air combat, um, air to ground, or things like that. And for the for the pilot, is uh, more difficult, no? Or yeah, so it's just more studying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So having to especially stay proficient in every single, you know, any tasks that we are asked to do. So whether you know to strafe, do air to air stuff, things like that. Um, but it's just you know, that's the fun part of it too. And this jet is able is capable of doing all of them very well for it. Um, again, it gives you so much information. It makes it very easy. It's a very user friendly plane uh, compared to other jets so your focus could be more on the mission stuff mm -hmm. instead of the basics like flying so it'll do that for you um, so you can focus kind of you know how to find things in the, all the the millions of lines of codes that it has in the computer so thanks so much for your thank time thank you I appreciate Stop it done. hope you have a good thanks time thanks so much for it. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, I think. thanks so much Captain. Thank